Well, hello everybody. Jason and Beth from Happy Tales. Uh, a couple weeks ago we did a video on skirting and uh, we have a um, external propane tank that we got a lot of questions and comments about. So uh, we answered them individually as we always do, but I thought, well, why not put a video together and tell everybody about why we have that, how we hooked it up, and uh, just kind of show you a couple things do a quick little video so why don't we go outside and uh we'll go take a look at it and i'll explain it all to you all right come on and welcome to the blustery colorado morning it is supposed to rain and snow today so i think we're about 38 degrees you see <laughs> so here is our 100 pound propane tank that we have. Nice thing about this guy is uh, the KOA that we are at, they lend these guys to you. Uh, their only stipulation is they give it to you full and when you check out and depart, they want it returned full. So uh, it's a nice deal because it's not an added cost to you. Um, the other nice feature that they do is when it's empty, you call them and they'll come, they'll pick them up, they'll fill it, and they'll bring it back to you. So all you have to do is unhook it and rehook it. So that is pretty cool in our book. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. As you see, 100 pound tank is on the outside. And well, sounds like somebody's having some fun out there. We have a 12 foot line. And that line is connected to an adapter. Um, I want to make sure that you know this because the old school, let me go around this way, the old style uh, valves are still on these 100 pounders. So you need to buy this adapter uh, that threads inward and then puts the new quick connect on the outside of it. I believe that adapter cost us about 30 bucks. Um, I can't quite remember, but I think that's probably in the ballpark. So I'll link, I'll find one in the Amazon. We'll put it down in the description for you. As well as this hose, that's where we got this hose was from Amazon. So uh, continuing on, our line goes down here and then it comes back up here and then right here. And it plugs into the existing line that is on the system already. Now you'll see that it has this little gauge right here. Those gauges aren't reliable, so don't, don't rely on those guys. They're great when it's about oh, 65 ambient temperature out. Um, but when you have such a fluctuating temperature as we do here, um, it is really hard to have it. Because right now it says that we're in the we're in the yellow but we've got three quarters of a tank left so that's why i say we don't we don't trust that um i do have the mopeka um which i can show you real quick on an app i think I, we've showed you in the past ones but i'll show you real quick and that goes to our other 30 pounds so we have this 30 pound and one on the other side and with our mopeka it you know we know that when this guy is empty because that one will start going down on the left hand side and so we just call have them fill it so I'll throw that Mopeka in at the end of the video here. But continuing on, there is three ways to hook this guy up. The way that I have it now, or what you can do is you can get another line that would go down and come all the way up. And then you could take this line off of this regulator and then screw into that. That is the way that I would say not to do it. And the reason I say that is because now you've opened your system and you've caused a potential leak. Um, so personally, I would never do that. It is, you can do it, but I just wouldn't do it. And the third way is these lines are just long enough that you can roll the tank over here with the door open and then push the tank right up against here and thread that to it. Now, the reason I didn't do that and use this longer hose is for one reason and one reason only, and that is all the skirting that we put on. Now, these containers are open to the, to the ground. Um, I know it's hard to see, but that is all open. This is our leveling foot, um, and underneath here, it's all open. And the reason that is, is so that if your propane tank or your regulator or something fails and you have a leak, it doesn't go into your coach. It goes down and it 
escapes out. And now you're saying, well, now you've put a skirting in, you've closed that in. Well, that, you know, that is still fine because it's not 100% and, you know, we've got a wide area of air mass down there. So if we did have a leak, um, you know, that would, that would handle that. Now, the other reason I don't have that open is because, like I said, we have that open air down there and now all that cold air would get underneath the RV and it would kind of negate the fact that we put skirting under there. Um, so that's why we opted to do that. Now we keep everything nice and clean. It's nice and tidy. Um, no cold air gets underneath there or gets up into the uh, closet area. So if you guys got any questions, let us know. Hit us down in the comments and uh, we'll get back to you. If not, you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week. And thanks for tuning in. Bye bye, everybody. Okay, so we are in um, our RV tab here. And you can see right here in the lower right is our Mopeka tank. We'll hit that guy. And then it brings this guy up. And apparently, I need to fill that left tank. Because as you can see, it is at 18% and our right tank's at 74 So we'll take care of that today. But this is the one that um, we monitor as that 100-pound drains. We'll see this guy. <laughs> And uh, that's that's how we know when normally we keep this a lot fuller, but apparently uh, we uh, lapsed on that. So we'll get that guy filled today and then it'll be back at 100% and we'll just watch that. As it drops, we'll know that we need to fill up that 100 pounder and we can run off of this till they bring the 100 pounder back. So this is the Mopeka. Um, it's really easy. The reason I don't use it on the... Um, 100 pound tank is because let's see uh i was trying to show you you can't it doesn't register for a 100 pounder unfortunately um so that's why i think you can you can do up to a 40 pound and um it just won't read the 100 pound so that is what we use and we really like the mopikas uh, we've been using this thing for probably seven years and it's fantastic as you can see it's app based and uh, it's just a good product so again you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week thank you so very much for tuning in and uh, enjoy your week bye bye everybody